Hey y'all! So I want to talk about something that someone has asked me to talk about. Um, autistic fictional characters, especially in romance situations. So when we have a romance between an autistic character and a neurotypical character, there is obviously going to be questions that the audience is going to have when they're reading or watching, whether it's a book or a video. A lot of people will feel the need to explain the autism in order for the relationship between the characters to be understood. This balances a fine line of having too much exposition and background information about the character that just goes into explaining autistic traits um, or a character doing like a dramatic monologue and saying what their autism is and how they experience it and all this stuff. That which both can be done right, but written by a non-autistic author or writer, it could be difficult. There is also the other end of the spectrum, <laughs> spectrum, where the character will not address their own autism at all, or until one major plot point, and you just see their personality, and then later realize, oh, they're this way and that way because of their autism, which can be okay because our personalities and our autism is incredibly interlinked, but people will see that as an archetype for an autistic character and saying, oh, because they have these personality traits, then they must be autistic, which does not always work. So my friend who I can't name um, or give any information about has written a book about two characters in a relationship. One is autistic, one isn't. Um, it's an amazing book. I love the author. I love the story. I love the characters. She gave it to her editor and they've said that basically, in, in the author's words, to box up the disabilities to make sure that they're not too disabled so that they qualify for love. Autism is not a trial to be overcome. We can't have books saying that they started out this way and they slowly became more normal because of this romance. That's not how it works. There is also so much ableism in society in general saying that the autism severity has to be understood and clarified in order for the story to make sense or in order for the romance to make sense. So the question is, how do we make an autistic character that autistic people can identify with in fiction while also not being stereotypically autistic and embodying all the traits of autism and having no personality, as well as not falling into some kind of dramatic monologue about what autism is at the same time explaining what people need to know so that they understand the character. So if you have any insights, um, any personal experience that you've had with writing autistic characters, with writing as an autistic person, with reading, any suggestions that you might have, input that you want, I can be reached at the links that I put below. I can be contacted on Instagram, on, you can go to my website, any way that you want to get in contact with me. I would really, really welcome hearing what you have to say. So thank you guys for watching.